What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Searching for Tone. My name is Brian, for all you first time viewers out there. And please, go down below, hit that subscribe button, because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming out for you. Today, we're going to be expressing ourselves. Made by Duke Designs, find them on Etsy. This thing is something that you're definitely going to want to check out. You're kind of looking at this thing like, what's so special about it? And at first, it came across my poem screen on YouTube, and I really didn't know much about it, and I haven't seen it before. This might even be the first review outside of the company that has hit, uh, you know, the uh, social medias. So, kind of an innovator here. But it's really quite interesting when we get down to it. It's really made out of this, like, super, seems like sturdy space-age plastic, you know. Not like the stuff that they use on uh, uh, Boeing. I mean, honestly, I haven't seen something this innovative since the McFly's invited me over to their house for a rehydrated Pizza Hut pizza. I'll break the atrocity channel. Dad, telephones, needles. Oh, yeah, Mr. McFly, it, it's Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He's calling you. All right, well, I'll take down the den. Hey, the big M. How's it hanging, McFly? So what's really cool about this pedal is it needs absolutely no power whatsoever. You just slap this on your pedal board and that's it. And you're asking like, so it's just like an expression pedal. Yeah, but the thing is you can control whatever parameter on your pedal that you want. So how do you do it, you ask? Simple. They have a little Allen wrench on the bottom over here. And then you just take the end over here that has the set screws in it, you loosen them up enough, push the pedal all the way down, take your favorite pedal, here we have the blues driver, and you pick whichever knob you want to take off to control. So we're going to try the gain on it. You want to turn the, the knob all the way to the right with the toe pressed down, and then you just put this on top. And once you have it set, You're just gonna tighten down the set screws. And that's it. Now the instructions do say they prefer for it to have be mounted on a pedal board and that's probably just for the rotation purposes. But the best part about this thing is it doesn't need any power whatsoever and it takes a very small footprint. So the only thing to be mindful of is that when now you kick it in, if you didn't move that treadle back, it's gonna be all the way gained up if you're using a gain pedal and whatever parameter you decide to choose. So this is what you're getting out of the blues driver now. We move the treadle on the tonal pedal so that it is completely down to zero so we're not blasting you right in the beginning. And here's what we got. Then we can kick it in as we go. Well, you can basically see what this pedal is, can do, what it's capable of. 
leave a comment down below of what type of pedal you would think you'd use it with, what parameter you'd want to control with it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't need any lubrication. It does say that it's uh, the material that they used in the 3D printing is self-lubricating. Some instructions that came with it, an extra cog, but it basically tells you a little bit about the maintenance, what to use as far as if you are gonna use any type of lubricant on it. It does suggest that it is heat resistant, but it shouldn't be left in a car too long. And yeah, I mean, it's something that's really cool, very innovative. So what I really liked about it is the compact size of it, the fact it doesn't need any type of uh, power to it whatsoever. And uh, the, the treadle responds really nicely. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Some things that I kind of didn't like about it uh, was that just to me, the position of where it rotates the cable itself, I feel like I can't really control with my foot too much just in that position. And it's probably because of this sitting down position and this not being on a pedal board. I think if it was on a pedal board and you're standing up, you're not gonna have it possibly sliding around and it might be a little bit better. But some people have issues with like, you know, the, the mini waz because they're not full bore where they treadle right on the, the center of your foot. And that's why they don't like the mini waz sometimes. So if you are that type of person, you might not really bond with this type of thing. The other thing that I found that was a little what the difficult is the, the set screw. Sometimes it comes out my fat little fingers in here. It was hard to get it back in, but I found a trick after a while is to get that Allen wrench, put this, the screw on there first and then put it in. Don't try to thread the hole and then try to screw it on. Just put it right on top of the, the Allen wrench itself and then screw it back in. It seemed like it fit all the potentiometers on all the pedals that I had, no problem. The cable has to kind of be in the upwards position when you are placing it. And it would be nice if there was some way to have this where the pedal wasn't, the cable wasn't sticking up. I didn't try it with it out in this position, but it does seem like it takes up a little bit of uh, you know, space kind of in the height arena. Uh, I would also like to see maybe possibly in this a metal enclosure and hopefully they have patents on this or something so that people don't, you know, steal this thing right away because it really is very innovative. But you could almost take this and possibly maybe put it into a uh, crybaby wah pedal so now you have the big foot treadle position where you can get more control out of it and then maybe somehow working the cog system out so that the cable comes out the side or the top and you don't have to have any issues like that. It is really cool. I'll leave a link down below of where you can find this and let me know if you're gonna pick one up. Something pretty interesting. You've all been a fantastic audience and as always, stay tuned.